All right, so if you're watching this, then you might not have seen the fact that the event shop reset. Link to that below if that's, you know, still a thing. I'll, I'll, I'll show that video. And if you guys haven't kept up with this update or why we're getting Spy Llamas, I will link my video explaining this and why we're getting these. And then I will also link the update video that also uploaded this morning. And then if you really like the spy weapons, and this is probably the first thing I should have mentioned, I did, over, I did do an overview of every single one of these weapons, and I will link that at the top of uh, all my links in the description because that is uh, probably the most pertinent to this video, and it is a very important one. That also links all of my spy weapons' best perks, but those will be in the description of the overview of the spy weapons, because I don't want my entire description to be, to be that. Although, as I'm saying this, it would probably make sense to link the best perks in the description of this. There are going to be a lot of links below. But, today, I have 67 Spy Llamas to open for some reason. Uh, or, I'm sorry, <clears throat> 66 Spy Llamas and a Legendary Lead Survivor, because... I need, I need that at 131, but uh, this is interesting because I'm pretty sure I only had about 30 odd thousand tickets, and um, I, I don't know why they gave me 66 Spy Llamas, so huh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and open all of these. Now, they also reset the dungeons and the, the blockbuster quest line, so we're going to be able to um, go ahead and get a lot more tickets. I'm sorry if you guys don't like the fan. I'm going to have to turn it on because it is hot in this room. I've been making a whew, lot of videos this morning. I just spent 54,000 gold, so that was brutal. I want someone. I want someone to tally up everything I get in the comments below. Now, you only need to keep track of, like, purple stuff if you're looking to do this for me. Uh, I, I don't need any heroes or anything. I want event, purple, or higher. So anything, any spy weapon or hero uh, that I get. It would be cool to see a nice little checklist of this, because I'm not going to do it myself. But if you guys want to follow along, then there you go. I don't know. I think Outlander or Constructor? I guess Outlander doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? And... Ted shot and Ranger Dead Eye. So he's actually the hero that buffs the pistol damage by 50%, uh, and the SMG damage by 50%. So he's like, basically the rescue trooper Ramirez of pistols and SMGs. Oh, I don't think I have a Trinity in the book yet. Oh, this is not going to matter very soon. Oh my goodness. So I did a 10 Spy Llamas opening when these first came out, and I figured, ah, it'd be fun to do a follow up. But that video was like 10 minutes long. Oh man, am I going to be sitting here for an hour? Oh, I don't want that. I should have streamed this. <laughs> I should have streamed this. This is not going to be cut. I am not going to edit this, all right? This is just going to be hanging out with me for this entire time. Now, I don't really know what I'm aiming for with this. I have the llamas. They gave them to me. I don't know what I need. Uh, obviously, I'd like to get everything in the book, minimum. I mean, if, if I can open 60 plus llamas and not fill out my entire book, I will be floored. I will be shocked and shocked and appalled. All right, copper trinity, golden one. What kind of six perk do we... Not going to matter, all right. All right, come on. I really wish you could just speed up this opening a bit. So, Bomb Squad Kyle is interesting because everybody mentioned how insanely common he was. I didn't see that many. I got really, really lucky with my Spy Llamas. Um, for those of you who don't know my entire inventory, which should be most of you, okay? I got, like, four, three Silent Spectre uh, sold and snared. I think four of them. And I maxed out five of those copies. Oh, no, one was Affliction. So three sold and snared and Affliction. And then I got a sold and snared Trinity, a sold and snared Browbeater. I got the six perk I wanted on literally everything. It's actually why my book's not filled out, because... All the six perks were usable. I really liked them. I guess in a perfect world, I'd want a six perk for every single one of these weapons. There's another another pepper sprayer. So I got really lucky with my llamas. Almost every single one was somewhat meaningful, but a lot of people reported that they got mostly Bomb Squad Kyle. So I don't want the entire comments of this video to be spammed with what everybody got. I, I do hope that you guys get good stuff, but I, I can't. I can't truly care for every individual one of you. Like, I do care in the hopes that I hope you guys got what you wanted. But if everybody starts listing what they got from these llamas in the comments, that's going to get very, very spammy. So if you got something good, you know, let me know. You know, 1 to 10. 1 being worst case scenario. 10 being you got everything you wanted. All right. That, that's what we should get in the comments. Just a, a string of numbers. That'll be that'll be more valuable. A monsoon or a... I guess the monsoon. So the lightning pistol is something I have like tons of copies of in, in legendary form, and it's only locked to one element, so there's not really any reason to have multiple copies. Trinity, browbeater, eh, okay, Trinity, you can see I have five of them. I'm, I'm pretty fleshed out on that by now. I'd like to get an even mix of every single one of these weapons. I am 11 llamas deep and genuinely hoping for nothing. There is, I don't know what I want. I mean, 
I don't know. So the six perks aren't going to be... Oh, there's the Bomb Squad Kyle's adding up. The six perks are interesting. So to get a legendary version of each weapon with all the six perks would be kind of like the end game in a perfect universe of me just being insanely more rich than I am now. I'd have four copies of every weapon for all the elements minus physical of each six perk. But that's... That's ridiculous. There's no reason for that. Ah, yes, Undercover Buzz. She's terrible. She's so bad. People think that gadget cooldown is use is useful. I... Uh, I don't know. I'm not really I'm not buying that one. Okay, alright. Turnco. Got another golden one added to the list. Check. Pretty stoked about that. I wonder if I'm gonna get banned mid-video. That probably seems pretty out of the blue, but I'm scared, okay? Because when they reset the event shop... That excites me, and I make a video on it. I want everybody to know that they can get another copy of everything. But I don't know if that was intended. And Epic tends to just swing band hammers around when YouTubers tell people about things that weren't intended. It's a very nice thing to share. I mean, it's going to still cost gold. You need to actually play the game to unlock that stuff. It's not any kind of, you know, abusable glitch. I just, I get nervous because I have a target on my head from Epic, apparently. And I, I don't like that stuff, but I don't know. Uh, I, I still enjoy the game. I want people to be able to know what's what, and, and that's that. <gasps> what do we got? Golden something? I get a choice this time? <gasps> uh, okay, I am I am low. Well, Trinity's more usable than the gr I like the gr uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to go Trinity, because as much as I want equality, I want to get like a nice even spread of everything, I, I do think, like I said, in a perfect world, I'd have four copies of everything, but that's never going to happen. It's not something I'd even want to do. I don't need a grunt for every element. But if I had a trinity for every element, maybe I'd actually use that one a bit more. Although, now that I'm thinking about this, I never use the grunt, and I would really like to start using it. I don't know. I guess I'd want six perk, like, affliction on that, because it's kind of a weapon that you don't want to shoot twice if you're going to finish an enemy off. Yeah, usually when it goes all blue, there's something gold on the end. I'm going to start looking for that in the future. All right. Oh, my goodness. Why did it give me so many llamas? I had, like, well, oh, maybe I had 33,000 tickets, and it gave me 66. Huh, seven minutes into this video. I'm sure somebody already commented, but that math actually checks out. Wow. I thought they gave me way more llamas than I was, you know, than I had coming to me. But, oh, they got me scared. I saw all the blues, and I was thinking, oh, yes, keep going. One more blue, and I get a gold. I, I did not. So, well, that's unfortunate. I feel like, mm, no, I was going to say these llamas should force a gold, but that's not true. I feel like they should, there's another grunt, they should force a gold when they're V-Bucks. You know when these guys, when these llamas come back to the shop, and you guys have to spend V-Bucks? I feel like if there's a 300 V-Buck Llama in the shop, there should be a gold item. You're asking $3 for an X-Ray. I can see that there's a purple weapon in there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Yeah, the Trinity apparently is also a four-verse. Found that out recently. Ah, yes. Building up to that Golden Bomb Squad Kyle. That's, that's what I was hoping for. 100%. Thank you so much. Everything. You know... I'm in an interesting mental state right now, as you can probably figure by the tone of my video voice today. But I, so I just posted a video on the update on the patch notes and then the video about the event shop reset. And those were like minutes prior to recording this. So to me, as a YouTuber, I want to check the comments. I'm refreshing my analytics. My channel is exploding right now. There's like, four, I think that video got like 600 views in like 14 minutes. People like these, uh, these home base reports. And I do too. They're exciting. You know, hey, content's coming out, but it's just a re-release of stuff. The Walloper and Star Spangled Headhunter isn't, uh, <laughs> not too exciting. Especially as somebody who already has that. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I never did get a Golden Walloper. So, I mean, for those, I don't know, for those of you who might not have known that. Although that's not exactly a weapon that really, uh, ooh, okay. So, a friend of mine just DM me. Choo Choo. Shouts to him. Uh, probably did not watch this part in the video. He shouldn't. He has a ton of his own llamas, but... He just got a mythic Bladestorm Enforcer. So that, I suppose, confirms that the heroes can be coming from this. I've obviously, I've been getting Bob's for Kyle and the other chick, but the, the mythics are also in here. So that's cool. Um, the spy weapons are not... So the spy llamas are not dropping the shop weapons. No pot shot, no cleaner. I have not seen an instigator, but I would not be surprised. And I think those are the three. So, all right. In my overview, I covered those weapons, and I do stand by the fact that I covered them. All right, last time we went Trinity... We're going to go Grunt this time. We're going to go, go, we're gonna go Grunt. Um, I cover those weapons because it's like a complete overview of the set, and I stand by that. I'm glad I did cover them, but unfortunately, it does not seem like you can get those weapons from the Llamas, which makes sense. They were shop weapons. I, I'm not expecting anything else, but 
I don't know. The pot shot is one of those weapons that's insanely strong anyway, which you'll see if you watch that video. And, ooh, speaking of which, it should be live in seven minutes. It's 3.23 a.m. for me right now, so, yeah. Anyway, the pot shot, you don't really need a multiple copy. The cleaner, I don't think anybody actually powered up with the intent to use it. And what's the other one? The instigator? Eh, yeah, instigator would be nice to have, I guess. I don't know. It's not that good of a bow. It's not that good. It's fun. On these unfocused videos where I'm not talking about the best bows in the game, in my best bows video, I gave it a very objective review, trying to be as positive about it as I, positive about it as I could. But right now, I'll tell you straight up, it's, it's not a good bow. <laughs> there's a reason. There's a reason I never use it. It's it's not, you know, not, not one of my favorites. Hey, the 10 minute mark, guys. Oh my goodness. You know how rare it is for me to hit, 10 mar hit the 10 minute mark on my videos? A lot of YouTubers do it for the ad revenue, but uh, I don't know. Most of my topics are eight minutes or less. I, I don't I don't like to drone on. I don't like to waste your guys' time. But in a video like this where, okay, you saw 66 in the title. You know what you were signing up for, okay? I should have gotten a snack warning at the beginning of this, but we are churning through these pretty quickly. At this pace, we should be done about the 15-minute mark. So, hey, I'm thrilled about that. What do we got? Bomb Squad or Bomb Squad? Oh... Oh, I stand correct then. I suppose, like I said, Trinity, uh, Turncoat, I don't, I don't need multiple Turncoats. That's really not that exciting of a weapon. Um, the pistols are kind of underwhelming. It's like the Turncoat does enough, like if I'm spamming my, my, my click, my clicker as fast as I can, it is outputting about as much damage as like a normal SMG or less, which doesn't make sense. Um... I did get an interesting comment from somebody a while back where they mentioned that they were using uh, Ranger Deadeye, that guy I think I mentioned earlier, who allows you to have a 50% damage bonus to SMGs and pistols in the same hero. And they were using a pistol as a secondary, so that was interesting to me. You know, that's interesting that you could actually genuinely use it as a sidearm. Unfortunately, we are limited to three inventory slots. Personally, I like Coconuts and the Baron, which means I only can ever really fully utilize one weapon at a time, unless I want to make some serious drawbacks to either uh, my movement speed or my health or damage bonus, which is what Coconuts do. So, man, if they ever add five inventory slots to this game, that would be so good. That would be so good. I would be able to use so many more loadouts. Imagine a totally rocking out build where you can use wafers and coconuts and a primary and a rocket and a Baron. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there's a reason we can't do that. I don't know. I don't think that would be that bad. I feel like maybe that'd be a little much. Oh my god, Grunt or Trinity? That is the question today, boys. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm just really feeling the Grunt right now, even though I think the Trinity is going to be... You know, I, I want the Grunt. I want the Grunt. I like the way this weapon plays, and I really... You know, it's funny. Editing that, that overview of the weapons today kind of made me take another look at the Grunt, because I feel like it was a weapon I always enjoyed. It was something I was really excited about initially, and then I just never used it and i think that's large in part because all of my schematics had that standing still six perk which sucks i hate it so much again this isn't focused on that six perk where i'm giving it an unbiased review i'll tell you my opinion right now it sucks i don't know anybody who intentionally stands still just for that bonus this is not a game where you're i don't want either of these can i take okay this is not a game where you are supposed to be standing still that's not how that works. It's, it's This is a very fluid game. So that's why I think Slowed and Snared or Affliction is going to be the only way that I'll ever really utilize that weapon. But I don't know. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I am so glad I bought that 100 inventory. Although that's probably not going to make too much of a difference. So in the event shop reset, they allowed you to buy those 100 armory slots again. Which is cool. Hey, I'll take it. Um, and... I'll be filling it up with this. Now, that says 459 in the corner there. Not only are we not done, but that's going to get hugely reduced once it auto-recycles all the blues and under. Uh, I think I have purples on that list. Um, purple survivors will get caught by that, but I don't actually think you get survivors from this. You do get heroes, so training manuals will be happening. <gasps> oh my goodness, the amount of training manuals I might get from this. Oh, oh that's going to be amazing. Oh, let me guess, Grunt or Trinity? Oh, okay. Again, turncoat. Decent pistol. I like it, but a browbeater of every element would have me using this weapon a lot more than I currently do. Because I think the only one I have right now is locked to fire, which is, eh, that's not... I mean, everything's nature right now, so that's cool, but yeah, one of those with every element would be cool. I think a water browbeater would be really fun. Just personally. I don't know why. Maybe because I always use it fire, a water, like, um, what's the animation on the end of it? That'd look cool. I hear a low rumbling. Oh, I think that's my hard drive spinning. No? Is that a plane? I think it's a plane. I might have to take my headphones off. What's going on? I don't even know. 
And these are the last words recorded by YouTuber Xmas to Beast X. Oh my god. I wonder how many people actually know that that's like the username I go by. I mean, I know it's my username in game, but I don't know. I don't know. I think Beast is a lot cleaner. Beast is a lot cleaner. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, that totally that totally derailed my train of thought. It's just a low rumbling. Oh my goodness. I was I was struggling. Ooh. Is that my wow, pepper sprayers have been far and few between today. Okay, I'll grab another one of those. I was um supposed to be looking out for the cat tonight, and I took a nap, which is not something I ever do. I don't I don't reckon Oh. Oh, is this my lead survivor? <laughs> oh good. I don't care. You know what? Plain, just to keep it consistent. <laughs> But I had to um, look out for my cat, and he just wasn't there. He just wasn't coming into the back door. And family's on vacation, so I was um, a little, a little worried because you know when everybody's home, it doesn't matter. It's like you know, if the cat's not in, then you know who's the one who let him out. You can shift the blame. It was all me. Like I don't, I don't want the cat to get mauled by an animal while I'm the one who's supposed to be looking out for him. I mean, God, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. Okay, I want my cat coming back to the door on all fours, not. Right, I'm gonna spare you some graphics. My friend's cat died in a very sad way, and that's that's not not my favorite topic. I don't know where my brain's going. No, you know what? No, I'm not even gonna save face. I do know where my brain's going because I care about my animal and I want him to come home safely. And those are just, I don't know. I'm very comfortable with the worst case scenarios, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, he came back just fine, very nice. And you know what? He came back even better because I was um, looking to take a shower anyway, but I didn't want to do that while he was outside because I was nervous. I was scared. So. When he came back, I took a very comfortable shower. It was awesome. Came back, and he was laying across my mouse pad. It's like he knew that he was stuck outside, and he was so happy to be back. Soon as I sat down, he got up and left. Because, you know, that's cats, everybody. <laughs> as much as I think he's he's coming in to love me, he was really more or less just commandeering my space. Like, I sleep um, on a bed, as most people do, and whenever I get up, it's the first thing he does. He just takes my space takes my space and lays down right in front of my pillow right where I go and it is sometimes moments after getting up where I'll get up and then maybe change my mind and go back to bed it is not an option because I'll, I'll split the cat in half if I try to lay down on him like I know that he doubles as a body pillow but only once no it's just kidding he's very squishy cats are kind of liquid you know like if you press down on them they just sort of like go outwards in all directions and then look at you funny I don't know I'm a cat person if anybody made it this far in the video, you know, pop up for you. I want a cats versus dogs in chat, all right? And then, and that's it. That's it. In the comments there, just let me know. Cats, cats versus dogs. I'm, I'm sure plenty of people will have a lot to say about that. Oh, God. That is just cats or dogs. Cat, ca cats or dogs? Well, I don't want either of this. Uh, I don't know. Cyclops? Eh, I mean, uh, turncoat. I, I have turned away the turncoat so many times today that I just, I don't, I don't. I think it's time. All right. The very last llama. You know, I was going to hype it. Like, maybe I'll get something good. But I, I cannot imagine what I could get this late. Yeah, there you go. Turncoat. Finally making its, <sighs> making its return. That is 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 25 legendary weapons out of 66 llamas. Sounds about right. Oh, you do get lead sur- Oh, you totally do get purple survivors from these. That, that'll be good to know, because people ask me on stream. You cannot get legendary survivors. And I have so many- Wow. Alright. Oh my god. A hundred thousand XP of each. Fifty-seven- Oh my goodness, look at the manuals and designs. This is incredible. Can I- Uncheck him? Oh, I'm going to dig through it. I'm going to dig through it. I want that one survivor to be saved because he's trapped durability. Yeah, you. You get to... Yeah, okay, all right. The rest of you can go. Boop. Oh, my goodness. What's my arm right now? 1156? I should have checked where I started. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to leave all of these... Oh, snare? 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 Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. I, w I was going to save this, but now I don't want to. Okay, standing in place. Affliction, yes. Snare, okay. No, no. All right, all right. Affliction and snare, that's, that's usable. I can work with that. Yeah, okay. Affliction, very good. That's what I wanted. That's, okay. Snare, good. Snare, good. Okay. Standing in one place. Affliction. Affliction is, yeah, all right. All right. I am officially happy. Not to mention all of these purple variants have their own opportunities to have desirable six perks fantastic you know what i should have said at the beginning instead of counting up what i get i wanted predictions oh no that would have spammed my comments even further all right well 
there you go. That is 66 spy weapons and, you know, 20 minutes of hanging out with me and 21 XP boosts. Also, you know, public service announcement, use your friend boosts. Next time you play missions, if you were somebody who opened up a lot of spy weapons, um, spy llamas with, you know, just like I did, use these on your teammates. They will appreciate it, especially the lowest level people. Us max power levels, you know, need it, um, but it, it would help anybody uh, at any time. All right, bye guys. Uh, I'm going to link everything below 20 minute on the dot.